wait a minute. So you have just brought in a piece of art, of a painting that you did. Yes. And who is this? This is James Ouellette, A-U-L-E-T. A-U-L-E-T, James Ouellette. Yeah, and who was he? He was a person that did seven and a half years for an arson fire that never occurred. Really? And, and did you get him out with your legal work? I got a federal judge to agree with me that the, the judge in his case refused to allow, allow his girlfriend to testify that her son had set the fire. It wasn't even a, it was a mattress fire, smoldering, not even a uh -huh. fire. And Why did they, did they, was he a drug addict that had it in no, for him? No, no. How was, did he end up with seven years? That's a pretty serious sentence. Because arson carries a, a hefty um, sentence. Oh, it's just like Jamie with the gun. Yeah. Automatic huge sentence. Right. And and you got his... He, he, well, the, the, the state court judge refused to let his girlfriend testify... Don't make noise, Michael. Go that ahead. her son had set this mattress fire. Right. And you appealed that decision. I appealed it, and the state denied it. I went to federal court. The federal court says yes. The judge was in error oh. for not allowing this lady to be able to testify that her son set the fire, which ultimately had this person convicted. Okay, but I'm saying, but then did he get unconvicted when the no, court? No, because the judge refused to overturn the conviction because it wanted to the, the case to be appealed to a higher court so three judges would determine the same thing because he didn't and want... And did they appeal to a higher court? By that time, yes, he did. But by that time, the higher court was going to hear the case. He had passed away from HIV. Oh, and how old was he? He was about 34. And how old was he when you painted this painting? How well, many hours are there pictures of him? This is him in real life, right? Yeah, right here. Right? And and how and what age was he when you did this painting? He was about 33. And what are you selling this painting for? Well, I was going to incorporate the picture of it in my book. But well, I would be I, glad to let you do that, even if I buy it. Okay. Um, a good price. But the great story behind it is what makes it worthwhile. This I, painting, I, I would want 300 for it. 300? Yeah. How many hours do you think you worked on that? I have no idea. I, I don't have... A lot? Yeah, I, I did detail work on it. I took my time. Oh, I see, because um, he was someone special. Yeah, and I was going to incorporate him in, into my book. So. Okay, well, I'm going to give you... I'm going to have the highest color reproduction for you. You incorporate in your book, and I'll buy it for $300. Okay? Yeah. George, you're going to bankrupt me. I, uh, well, listen, <laughs> I, I was, I, I love that kid, you know, I really I, I, did. You want to know why? That's one reason I want to buy it. Oh, For man. the story, not for the painting, for the story. Yeah. I, I'm going to tell my acceptors, give it back to you should I die. You um, know. Well, I just love, he was really a sweet kid. I'm sure he was. You're a sweet person of taking his case and tried to correct the wrong. Thank you so much for being on the show. I'm going to show you one day when I have, well, when okay. you.